Hey everybody, this is this is quiet time right now. And and I bought these like five days ago. And I literally have had no time to even go through these myself. So I thought, you know what? I'll go through them with you guys. I found three old Christmas catalogs at an antique store near me. And I've, first of all, I've never had a Spiegel catalog ever. I have a lot of JCPenney's, Sears, that kind of stuff. But I wanted to show you what life was like back in the 1980s. Okay, look at this. You could have bought the G.I. Joe Hot Wheels right here. What was that called? Uh, it doesn't have a name. $26. Look at all that fun you could have had for $26 back then. $26 was a lot of money back then. But you'll see, it, it slowly becomes value added when you get to like the really expensive stuff now 1982 you have to understand catalogs and catalog companies they literally were everything you could possibly want to buy so all the role-playing stuff let's look here you know you could buy a, a pinball game a shuttle uh, uh, uh shuffle hockey shuffleboard every video game you could possibly imagine there's an intellivision uh, which is weird because uh, that was a Sears thing and this is Spiegel. So I don't know if there's a relationship. Here's Atari Pac-Man. Look at that right there, Pac-Man. Look at all of these just handhelds. These are like all money now. Everything in here is like super money. Let's get over here. Okay, so here's where the good stuff starts. And I wanted to take it. Look, look right here. The first year of G.I. Joe. Look. You couldn't even get a Cobra Commander because he was a mail away. You could get a Cobra three pack though, two soldiers and an officer. You could get Snake Eyes, Stalker, Scarlet. You could get Grunt and Rock and Roll and Flash. And you know what? Look at this. All three sets would cost you $25. So you could have all of the original figures for $25. $10 per set if you wanted. Or you could get any three sets for three for... This was... And they would have come in a really cool little mailer. And they'd all be in baggies with their file cards. This is like really cool stuff. Um, these... I actually have a giant bag of these from a fulfillment center that never filled them. So I, I, they might have come from these. I don't know. Uh, look at this. Here's your first. And these are all prototypes too. Because look. This thing is way darker than the real one is. The real one's like a more of an olive drab like that right up there. But you can see this is a prototype here, and uh, look at that, $9, $21 for a Mobat. Look at that. Okay, so let's keep looking. The, 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 I've had these before. These, I think, are the, uh, oh, these are the small ones. So you could only buy the small vehicles, two for $10 on that one right there. Yep. And so let's move to another page list. But also, oh, yeah, Star Wars. Star Wars, 1982 Star Wars was the, this would have been Christmas of 82, so we would have already had 1980, we would have already had the release of Empire Strikes Back, but by 82, we were into wave two of the Star Wars figures that include Cloud Car Pie, all the, all the shelf hangers, the, actually, that might have been wave three, actually, if I think about it, um, so, it, but you could still buy all your bad guys, IG-88, Boba Fett, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper. You could get your heroes still. Or you could get your Series 1 set. Look, D. What 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 is D? D is, let's see here. Uh, is that D? I can't even read that, guys. Sorry. Um, oh, no, no. That's for those. Where Where is D at? Well, don't worry about it. You, you, D's somewhere in there. Oh, here it is. Over here. $30. You could have gotten a set of 12 of these figures. $30. And it would have come in a 12 box. And that would have been really rare. What would it cost the heroes? Look, yeah, that's probably a black... Right there. She's $200 now with her black original pistol. And you could have gotten all four of them for $12. Boba Fett, IG-88, all, the, all these, look, an ad hat. This was, this was the pinnacle. It was $50. My mom bought me the cardboard one and made me return it because she was not paying $20 for cardboard. And she didn't buy me the $50 ad at Walker here. 
so many so many therapy sessions over that and then you move down ATST. This was the first year ATST was released. A Millennium Falcon. You can still get everything. Every I don't see an X-wing on here though. Here's all the mini rigs, and they're actually pretty expensive in comparison to the figure. They were like double the cost of a figure, a little bit more than double. Here's the micro collection. This was new that year. Oh oh, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. And ET somehow snuck his way onto this page. Ah, the memories. Look at this, Rough Riders. Smoking the bandit looks like Smokey's humping the bandit there. Uh, here's oh, you could have a you could have a rebel sign on your car and be in a commercial. But look, look at this big track. I've got this robot by the way. I got that. I love that. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff, guys. So whenever you see one of these original catalogs from Christmas. It's mainly the Christmas, because they would only put the toys in Christmas. You might get a couple non-action figure-y things. And they got girls' toys back here, too. Um, actually, didn't we just sell one of these Annie's? I think we just sold one of these Annie's. I think so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, all this. All this. And, I mean, this was in really rough shape. I paid $10 for this. But I got $10 worth of memories out of it, guys. Ah, the Muppets. Look at all these awesome Muppets. I would, I would have killed for that Kermit. I really did. Uh, the roving reporter Kermit. All right, here's J.C. Penney's guys. Ne we're moving. That was 82. Here's 83. 83 is where boys' toys really starts to ramp up. Let's get into the action. And I, I highlighted a couple pages that I wanted to show you. Look, this is the first year of the Lego Castle. And this, I think this is the third year of Lego Space. Because I want to say Lego Space started in 80. But look at it. Oh, man. I was like, oh, I could build a space base. Oh, man, look at that. And the train, this is the original train right here. All right, let's keep looking. What else we got? Oh, look at this. More video games. You saw like three in the year before. Now you got like six to choose from, including Zaxxon. No, nowhere near as good as the original Zaxxon. Simon. Just weird little stuff, guys. I just wanted to show you. What? Oh, is that... That's the first Nintendo's, I think. Pocket size game, Burger Time, Dungeons and Dragons. I've seen those before. They're money. Everything's money, guys. Every everything from this era is money. You know why? Because we have money and we can afford to buy the stuff that we never got when we were children. I have twenty Adats down in in the pit. You think that's because Adat was the great? Well, it probably was the greatest toy. This is like Stompers, totally in hardcore effect right now. Uh, Rough Riders, Stomper, Stomper Military. This is the, I think that's the original Stomper truck there. Uh, let's keep moving. Anything, G.I. Joe was so huge. Every knockoff company. Oh, there's Bigfoot. There's Bigfoot. And then look at this knockoff G.I. Joe here. Zoids. That was the huge Megazoid right there. And let's see here. More Stomper and Rough Rider type stuff. Smoking the Bandit was huge still. Uh, I think Smokey and the Bandit 2 came out the year before, and now, uh, way before Smokey and the Bandit 3 without, you know, Bert. And then Knight Rider, look at that, Knight Rider. Oh, memories. Fall Guy. Ra a radio control fall. Oh, that's actually, I don't think that's right. It's a wired control. Sorry, I got interrupted there. Oh, look at this. Return of the Jedi just came out. Jabba. Look, somebody even earmarked this page. The kid who folded this page over said, Mom, Mom, I want, I want, I want. Look at this. A box of four Stormtroopers. You, everybody said, oh, we never had. No, you could have bought four, four original Empire Stormtroopers for $9.99. $2.50 a piece. Imagine that. And they would have come in a little box. And you could have still gotten Yoda, Darth Vader, Boba Fett. Yep. And then here's all the, you got, these are eight and nine. Eight and nine. Nineteen ninety nine would get you eight set of figures. Yeah, uh, set contains. I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you could have gotten eight figures in baggies for nineteen ninety nine. That's cheap. That's cheap even back then, guys. Uh, oh, this right here. I think I have this in the box. The original box. Oh man, look at this. This you could only get this from I think J.C. Penney. So 
Uh, yeah, because it got this little this little thing here. But wait, no, it doesn't have the little gun. There's a little double gun thing that everybody has confused. Uh, but yeah, I think it went to this. Um, Lunar Recon. I don't know what that is, but that would have been cool. I would have played with that with my Star Wars figures. Millennium Falcon, of course. Oh, look. That's a brown-haired Luke with that. Oh, brown-haired Luke. That's like two or three hundred bucks now, I think. Let's keep looking here. G.I. Joe. Second year. You could have gotten a four-pack or three-pack with Major Blood, Cobra Commander, Destro. You could have gotten Gung Ho, Doc, and Airborne. Or you could have got the three people that you only call up when you're going to go to that particular thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cobra Planet some mines. Call up Minesweeper. Other than that, no, we don't need them. Uh, we're going to go to the water now. Uh, we don't need you, Snow Job. We'll take you, uh, Torpedo. Uh -huh. But look, you could have gotten all that stuff. They still, they could never sell those things. They, seriously, I found these on clearance in Canada uh, 10 years after G.I. Joe, like 1993. Um, these were awesome. I never had them, but a buddy of mine had these. These were just, uh, when we'd play Little Green Army Men, just like, you know, throwback. Look at this. Black Star's Castle. You know, and look, look, they're just like, ah, oh, yeah, you know what? Uh, we don't, we don't want to buy the, the big Castle Grayskull. Uh, cause that seems like, or maybe Castle Grayskull wasn't out yet. It might've been, I don't know. Uh, but, but you know what? We'll just throw it in there with Black Star. And, and, look at that. Look at that. Look at this right there. That's first year of He-Man right here. Or that's second year, I think. Yeah, cause Ram Man wasn't in. But over here, look, bomb. You got advanced, you got Dungeons and Dragons. Fang. You got the vehicles. You got Chris Star. And then you got the first wave of advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Look at that. Oh, man. Let's keep flipping. Now, you're starting to get the robot era. Now, I've, I've had this, and I never knew it went to Mangalore. And Mangalore was the dumbest idea ever. You rip his arms off, and you can put them back on. But then, after a couple times, he didn't. Oh, Magnum P.I. Oh, look at that, Magnum. For a Ferrari with a three and three quarter inch sized Magnum. That's amazing. <coughs> More knockoff stuff. Oh, let's keep let's keep flipping. I got another I got another page. Oh, look. This was the uh, G.I. Joe uh, train. And then right below it the military train. Okay, let's let's oh look. This is a rarity, guys. I wanted to show you this one. This is a super rarity. These are Masters of the Universe pewter figures. I've never seen these little mountains, but I do have a whole bunch of the little pewter figures. And it came with paint, and you had to paint them yourself, which nobody ever did. Uh, look at that. And then right below there, some just random D&D &D fantasy lords, fantasy monsters. And you could buy all these little miniatures. And model kits down here. If you look down here, there's model kits. All right, so now we're going to flip over here. I want to show you this. Look at this. Comic book collecting. You get baseball. You could you could collect some baseball up here. And I believe that's that looks like it's a 78 or 79. That would have been Ozzy Smith's rookie year. Uh, but look down here. You could have gotten comic book lithographs, superhero comic book set, or... The thing I always wanted, never got, comic book collection box. And you got this little book. I think it's an official Overstreet, little mini Overstreet. And you got all this cool stuff. Look, at, let's look at E. E, comic book collecting kit. Let's get in there. Organize and protect your favorite comic books. Comes with 12 collector comic books. A large 18 by 8 by 11 and a quarter inch card box storage chest 18 vinyl storage bags and 75 index label plus the official comic book pricing guide a full color action poster slash calendar 1599 here's a collection of 10 different sought after superhero comics each one guaranteed to be between 7 and 15 years old and in very fine condition. Very fine. Two pounds worth of comic books. Ten dollars. Let's see. Let's see what they were. Can we get way in there?
right there. Look, let's see what we can see here. You got an X-Men from the reprint era. You got a Superman. I think that's, is that the one where he's eating cheeseburgers? I'm not sure. John Carter, Warlord of Mars. Uh, there's the shadow. I can't read what that is. There's an Avengers. I think that's 221, actually. Um, there's a Star Wars comic. That would have been awesome if that was the Boba Fett. That came out in 1980. I can't tell what that is. Action Breakup. I don't know. That looks like a Gru comic on the end there. That would have been seven years old at the time. There's a Batman. I can see Batman right there, I think. Yeah, so you could have got those for 10 bucks. That was a total highway robbery back then. And and in and, and hindsight, look, and that, there's the same ones. Whoever did this did the same ones here. Because there's that Avengers. That's the same Star Wars. Could have got a Spider-Woman, a Marvel Tales, a Rom, a Hulk. Even then they knew Marvel Comics were the best. <sighs> okay, let's get to the last year. Yeah, one more year. I don't have an 84. I'm sorry. They didn't have an 84, so I couldn't buy an 84. And I don't know where my 84s are down in the warehouse. But here's 1985. What happened in 1985, folks? Ah, uh, the end of an era. The last year Star Wars figures were released. But they kind of released the best stuff at the end. Here's the Ewok Battle Wagon. There, look at this. Look at this. Ah! You got a desert skiff. And an A-Wing. This would have been your Power of the Force skiff and your droids A-Wing. Look at the crossover there. Number B, Tatooine skiff, $15.99. A-Wing, $19.99. Oh, look at this crap right here. Oh, yeah. Power of the Force. Yeah, look at that. That's a bunch of garbage. Look at that. Pop-up, R2, Haunted Carbonite. Imperial Gunner, EV-99, and a man -a man Luke. Let's see what that went for. D, $27.99. You can't even get that Stormtrooper for $27.99 now. Let alone, he probably was the Stormtrooper with the, the coin. I don't know. I, these might, They might have sent you, because uh, I don't think I've ever seen a package set. So they might have just sent you carded figures there. But look at this one. He's 500 loose now. He's like 700 loose now. E and F, and, and nobody wants F. Look, no, nobody wants those. Somebody will buy them, but look at look at E. Look at E right here. $13.99. $13.99. You, you could get a three-pack of Ewoks. Look, they even screwed us up. Look, they gave they gave his hat, to Low Gray's hat, to, to Wicket, and he's already got a hat. What the F? All right, let's see what other toys were available. Ah, Castle Grayskull. Snake Mountain. Oh, man. Look at all this fun stuff. Oh, man. Oh, Hordak. The, the evil Horde Fright Zone. Look at this. The glove. The gloves are always gone. Down here, look at these pieces of crap here. Nobody knows what those are. Uh, the Interfaceables. Oh, I barely remember those. Yeah. And look at these things. You would have played with your He-Man figures. Yeah, look right there. You would have totally played with your He-Man figures with these. Because they were kind of... And then, oh, puzzles. Everything was puzzles at this point. Let's see where the Transformer page is for 85. Oh, oh, Sectors. Sectors. The Sector. Bug Hive. This thing looks cool. I never saw this. I don't think I've ever seen this. This is the Robot Converters Converters playset. Yep. Uh, awesome stuff. But then last and not least, G.I. Joe, the classic year, 1985. The greatest toy ever made, the USS Flag. Superpowers, look. Oh, we're transitioning. Now, comic books. Superpowers, Secret Wars. This is the second year of Secret Wars. Look, it's got Falcon and Hobgoblin there. There, you could have gotten the Batmobile. There's all of the... Look, they got they got all the Secret Wars figures. Ah. Where's Transformers? Right here. 
Boom. Devastator. Insecticons. Dinobots. Jetfire. The Collector's Case. Diaclone. Even then, they knew Diaclone was part of Transformers. In a long lost land. Now we got Voltron. Vehicle Voltron. Yeah, they didn't sell the, the, the Gladiator Voltron here. The, the Voltron base. Look at that. Uh, all the knockoff Voltrons. I've had most of these. Oh, never had that, though. Ooh, that's cool. Robot Rider. If you have a Robot Rider, make a list a comment. Is it as awesome as it looks? And then, Wheel Warriors and Mask. Look at this. This was the golden year of toys, guys. This was the golden year of toys. 1985. It all happened in 1985. Oh, Knight Rider. The talking kit, Knight Rider. Inspector Gadget, the original one. Uh, just, guys, if you get a chance, just look for, go on eBay and look for old Christmas catalogs. Don't, don't look in December, because that's when we all wax nostalgically for this stuff. Look in like June, and you're gonna, you're, you're just gonna have a stroll down memory lane. Look at all this stuff. Even, even girls can too. Look. Spider-Man, you could have dressed as Spider-Man. You got a utility belt. Spider-Man never... He, he had a spider gun. Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, just stroll down memory lane, guys. This is this is the most enjoyable $30 I ever spent. Well, I mean, in the last couple of years. Anyway. That's it, Knight Rider. Car. Oh, man. Green Machine. Green Machine. Bicycles. Nobody wanted a bicycle. Oh, man. Oh, the watches. The video game watches. I had the Pac-Man watch. Oh, man. It was so good. How much could you buy a Pac-Man watch back then? $21.95. That was a steal. And that's the He-Man watch right there. Is that the... The Knight Rider watch? I can't read that. Yeah, Knight Rider watch. Mr. T watch. Oh, man. I'm going to go look for a Mr. T watch right now. Robo Force. Nobody wants a Robo Force. Oh, my God. Wasted a space in there for that. Oh, man. So just find an old Christmas catalog from a year that you love the toys of and just have fun. This has been What's D Buying? And I didn't buy this to resell. Of course, I could and make way more than 30 bucks. But this is for me. Every once in a while, you got to buy something for you. Have a good day. Bye.